Namaste and blessed be superhumans. It's Goddess Rondi here with day five of our emotional shape shifting challenge, our 30 day challenge. I call it a 30 day challenge because there'll be 30 videos and some people like to just go through one each day. But again, some people are now stacking the videos. Some people are sticking on one video for a while because it resonates with them and maybe they're working with it longer. You can do this at your own pace. In fact, it's better if you do do this at your own pace instead of rushing through it so that you can actually really get the benefit of these meditations. And for those of you that can just do one a day and still rock on with it. So no matter how you do it, if you're going to do one a day or if you're going to do one a week or however you want to do it, there is no wrong way. So let's go ahead now and get started with today's um, challenge. So, of course, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and please share this series with other people. I'm actually not marketing it yet because I want to get some more videos in the playlist, get some more feedback. And then after I get, you know, between one and two weeks worth of videos, then I will go ahead and market it. So you guys are kind of with me in the beta stages and I do appreciate you for it. So now what we're doing tonight is we are letting go of the past. It is so important when trying to manifest something new that we are not tied to the past. We don't want to be stuck on old battlefields where there's nobody left on it but you and we just can't seem to let go of the battle. We don't want to stay tied to the energy of old relationships when there are new and better ones out there. And so we want to be able to move forward freely without that baggage from the past weighing us down. We don't want these stay in the energies of grief and loss, poverty, illness, or whatever it is. We're going to try to put all that in the rear view mirror so that we can move forward freely and happily. Now, of course, we want to try to do this twice a day. If you can do it once in the morning, once at night, that's perfect. But if you can at least just do it once a day, that's okay too. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start off by bringing in our divine peace of mind. So put your hands together like mine over your head. Repeat after me. I request and accept and watch my hands. I request and accept divine peace of mind from earth to sky, from sky to earth. And thank you. Sit still for just a moment to get that peace to start to come over you. And now go ahead and close your eyes as we begin the relaxation process. Just close your eyes and allow peace to begin to suffuse your body. Your feet are relaxed, your toes, your calves and calf muscles relaxed, your thighs, your thigh muscles relaxed, your stomach, your stomach muscles relaxed. Your chest is relaxed. Your shoulders drop and relax. Your upper arms relax. Your forearms relax. Your hands, your fingers nice and relaxed. Your neck is relaxed. Your face your facial muscles, your eyes relaxed, your head relaxed, your upper back relaxed, your lower back relaxed, feeling nice and calm and relaxed. Now, I want you to imagine how it would feel to be free from the pain of the past. How would it feel to finally let go of old relationships that no longer suit you? 
What would it feel like to you to be free of the memories of challenging situations that no longer exist? Imagine how freeing that would be, how much lighter you would feel. Imagine that. Imagine what would it be like, what would it feel like to let go of the traumas of the past and focus on the now and the positive changes that you are making in your life. How would that feel to you to reap the benefits of those positive changes, to see those positive changes happening, to feel them happening? How would that feel? Now imagine moving boldly into a future of happiness, of security, of prosperity, and good health. How would that feel to you to feel happy, to feel secure, prosperous, and healthy? Fill yourself with how that would feel. Now, I want you to imagine that you are standing on an empty battlefield. The war is over. All of the other soldiers have left. And now imagine turning your back on that battlefield and walking on a bright and sunny path excited because your whole future is ahead of you and you get to design it exactly how you want it. Imagine how that would feel to be in that bright sunny path. Imagine how it would feel to be free and now feeling that awesome sense. I want you to mentally say Subconscious, this is how I need to feel. This is my new normal. Bring up that feeling of joy and freedom again. And mentally say, subconscious, this is how I need to feel. This is my new normal. And now bring up a feeling of gratitude from being released from the past and once more mentally say, subconscious, this is how I need to feel. This is my new normal. Stay in that energy of gratitude for just a moment. And now I'm going to count from zero to five. And when I reach five, your eyes will open and you will be right away. Zero and one. Coming aware of your surroundings. Two, feeling good. Three, feeling free. Four, feeling powerful. And five, is eyes open, wide awake. One, two, three, four, five, wide awake. One, two, three, four, five, wide awake. This concludes day five of our 30-day emotional shape-shifting challenge. Thank you for joining me on this journey. I'm sending you all of the freedom that you need to move forward on your path. Thank you, and we will see you tomorrow. Namaste and blessed be. Thank you.